welcome back to my channel so in this video we'll be doing a first impressions video on three different items and they're all school related so and I didn't feel the need to make a separate video for each item just because they could all be combined in this one video okay so if you're interested to know what I got and how it works keep watching okay so the first thing I want to do is the small items first and I'm gonna go to my big item so the first thing I have is this Jan's court um, mid no, medium um, pencil pouch this was about I want to, I'll look up the prices for you guys and I'll put the I'll put the prices um right somewhere right here for you guys so you guys can know how much it costs I don't remember but this is the medium pencil pouch I was debating on getting the large one or this one when I was ordering them um and I was like the large one came with, came with like two pockets and I just felt like it was gonna be too bulky um because I've had because I've used you guys in my other in my last video I had uh, I used this one for uh, my like electronics and so this was just too big so I didn't in like the um the Jansport one that's like the the large one is like this size but it comes with two zippers and I just felt like because I already have this one for electronics uh, there was no need for me to really buy another one so yeah this was a, this this I talk more in depth about this one in my um pink in my pink um backpack um first impressions or what's my backpack one of the two i'll link i'll link both videos in the um i cards up here in case you guys want to check that one out um, okay so this okay so i take I already have all my school supplies in here um i really don't even have all of them i just have uh what i'm currently using right now so yeah this is all the stuff that fits in it it's actually quite big it stretches out to this far so it can hold pretty much a lot of stuff um but i don't like to have I, i'm gonna do like a what's in my like a school supply video also so i'll show you guys more in depth what's in there but i want to show you guys what can like all the stuff that can fit in here and like stuff like that because i feel like that's important to know like how much stuff you can fit in here i also put all of my um i have the the uh, midliners highlighting pens and so i put all of them in there it was just way too bulky for me personally so i didn't keep them in there but yeah that's what's in i have that love that super cute came in lots of different colors um the next thing i got was this Okay, so this is like this is a lunchbox, you guys. I know this looks like a little mini backpack, but it's not. It's actually a lunchbox. There's no straps or anything like that. Um, so because I'm going to law school in the fall, um, as you guys know, um, law school is like an all day thing. Like you're there from like nine to like five, and that's not including studying time after classes. So I was like, I'm not trying to buy food. I'm gonna just make my own lunch and bring it and things like that. So I need a lunchbox. And I wanted one that was cute. So, this has, like, a little baby pocket right here for, like, utensils, snacks. Um, I'll probably end up putting snacks in here, to be honest with y'all. Um, because I have, like, a little, like, utensil set, and that will just, and it's attached to my actual lunch box, or my actual lunch container. Um, so then, let me take the reformer out. Um, so then it has one main compartment, and this is what it looks like on the inside. Both of them are insulated. So it does keep stuff hot or cold this is about i want to say 50 cubic inches so it holds it holds a lot compared to their other lunchbox uh, which is more of like a flat dome like a regular lunchbox and then it does hold a regular 16 ounce water bottle this is 16.9 but and then i don't know if you guys can see but so this is where the water bottle the water bottle is all the way to the bottom of the bag and this is where it sits in comparison to the height of the bag so you still have like a good amount of length between the top of the water bottle and the top of the backpack and so people like in the review people are saying oh you can only fit um like small things like like plastic bags but i wish i had i brought this camera so i can show you guys but i was able to fit like a like a one of those um plastic containers that you can get from like anywhere into this bag um facing like this way if i put it in like this so i don't know if you have like a soup or like if your tops are leaky i probably wouldn't recommend doing that but if you are like just putting like a regular solid food in there and it goes you just have good tops um it will be fine to sit in here um i put some jumbo lime on her made and like in a small pan like that just to see if it would work and it worked fine but i also have the kind that locks on the sides i don't, I don't know if that so yeah, but definitely it, it'll fit in here, um, and you can definitely fit like all the snacks in the world. I definitely, this backpack, I love it, and it's cute. And then also, uh, the handle right here, 
it actually velcros off so you can attach it to like your backpack or um whatever you want to attach it to so yeah okay so the next uh, i have a backpack so this backpack is the Jansport hatchet backpack um it's the i want to say this is like the new like the newer version of it because i know that they i've looked at other people's videos um about this backpack particularly from even last year from that last year to this year one they've changed the colors completely so you uh, you can't even find the colors in other people's videos and some people um they do have different colors just based off of amazon and then what they have um on their online website i got all the stuff from their online website this backpack is 60 dollars um so yeah um this this uh 15 uh 15 inch laptop and this okay so some people say that this backpack is not waterproof in the video i literally poured water on here i'm about to show you actually because this okay it's waterproof okay it is waterproof so we're gonna put a little water here okay Oh. But basically, can y'all see it moving? <laughs> I'll show you this. Oop. See, like, so basically, as y'all can see, no, there's not like a water stain or anything on it. Um, I will say, like, this actual strap <laughs> is not waterproof, but that's a strap, so I mean. I would you expect the shop to be waterproof and even the people are like, oh well it's only waterproof because of what's on the inside of the backpack i'll show you guys in a second but even the bottom that doesn't have the lining is waterproof okay again the strap isn't waterproof but the actual like bag see how it bubbles up the actual bag is waterproof so you don't have to worry about any of your um, stuff getting wet. You guys can kind of still see like the droplets of water that are on it. They're just kind of just form. But yeah, this backpack is completely 100% waterproof. You will not have to worry about your um, things getting wet. Um, so you won't have to worry about that. Let's get into the pockets. I love pockets, you guys. I don't know why because I tend to always forget where I put my stuff, but whatever. So first pocket is actually this pocket right here um originally i was putting i was actually putting my um this in here because it was it's just it fits perfect and it's the easiest access i can get to my pencils that i'll have to unlock the, my backpack so this with the backpack looks like with the pencil case in there it does kind of go like this on the inside just because i don't have it like in the middle it's kind of closer to the edge than it is to the middle but this is what the backpack looks like with that one on the top. And people, some people said like, oh, you can't put anything in the pocket because of how heavy it is. But once you unzip it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, like, it still fit, flip, flips back and things like that. So I, I don't have a problem with that. Um, and then on the side, there is another pocket. This, some people said there's like a hole, but this one, and I think they changed that design. Um, and so now it's just like a flap of uh, leather. Um, so you unlock this part and you can fit a iPhone XX Max in this pocket. Um, I have put my phone in here numerous times, but I'm currently recording on it. So I can't show you guys that part, but I will try to take a video of it and insert it into the video. Okay. I'll put it like somewhere here. Um, and then there is no zipper on this side, but they do have two water bottle pockets. And as you guys seen in my last video, I carry this water bottle, though it has now has more stickers on it. Um, this pocket, I would definitely recommend. Okay, so this is the one thing I would recommend because I did do this after the fact. But my water bottle does fit in here with my stopper. It does go, I will say it does go in easier with um, out my stopper. But I like my plastic stopper and I'm not taking it off for nothing. So... And that's the only reason I'm struggling with. I'll show you guys when I don't have a stopper on. But let me make sure I have it all the way. So, it does fit my 40 ounce water bottle on both sides of the water bottle pockets. Um, and then once, if I take this little rubber piece off my water bottle, 
I can just see it just it, it just goes it goes in easier without the stopper it's just I happen to like my stopper um because it helps with I'm having it on my thing it helps it from falling off of my desk and things like that so I just keep my stopper on there um so that's it for the oh and then it also has this little pocket up here the front um this will probably end up being for my like my period stuff i always tend to keep my period stuff in the most upfront pocket along with gum and i normally put like chapstick and like hair ties and things like this in my front pockets just because it's the easiest access when you know you're in the bathroom and you have your backpack hung up on the hook so I just bloop bloop pull out whatever you need i'm also sometimes i'll probably end up keeping like um like mini deodorants and like mini sprays because you never know um so that's what was in this pocket this pocket i don't know if i can guys this pocket is actually pretty like this is pretty and it's wide um so it's pretty deep it goes to like about my wrist for my hands um so it's just enough space for like mis miscellaneous things or things like of that nature but i like the fact that you can still um that you can hide the zipper the way up so all you see is like a little dangly thing you don't actually see like an actual zipper so i like that okay so then the actual top of the backpack i think i showed you it has one use it's like a hatchback um so it has like one u-shape and there's two zippers so you can either zip them both up on one side or the other and just zip and go so on the top of this backpack there is a mesh lining um, up here, you can pretty much put whatever you want. At first, I was putting my um, pistol case. I'll show you guys in a second. Uh, at first, I was putting my pistol case up here because it does fit. But because I will be having carrying my electronics in this one, I might end up putting, or I might not even use this and just put my electronic, like my cables and stuff, in this pocket. I still haven't kind of figured that out yet, but that is what I did with this pocket originally. Um, I wish I haven't used a backpack, but I've been figuring out different things and taking myself to the living room for my Zoom classes <laughs> using this backpack. So I've been trying to figure out different little things. Um, okay, so um, so I will say when I first got it, it was like I was like, oh no, I can't get it like you know to expand. This is so this is little, but there's like a little strap right here, um, which I kind of wish it kind of like snapped like a like a like a snapper, so I can just snap it open and close and like tighten it on one side. Um, because I'm afraid that this will actually slip through and I won't be able to slip it back um, in. But so they have a doubled edge like this. And um, this part is um, elastic so you can actually move it up and down. Um, and this tightens. And then it, it loosens or how, however big you need it to for the backpack to expand. Um, I just loosened it because, um, you know, I'll be going to law school, so we am going to just have a loose, be a loosey-goosey. Okay, so the backpack gets to be this wide, which um, in law school, as well, at my law school, we get our own, like, um, study cubbies. So if we have a locking, um, like, table, so I'm able to leave my books on campus, or I, I we even have, like, a scanner so I can scan my books, and then, like, whatever I scan, I can have it in my, my actual laptop. I don't have to use bring my books to class every day i can just print out the pages that i need um so and we also have lockers so my books don't really have to travel in my backpack i can just carry them it's not that big of a deal um but not i know that not every school has well i think every law school has lockers for your books because some things is heavy and to expect people to carry them heavy old books because those books are like thick like you know them old dictionary like them old webster dictionary thick it's like, it's like that thick um so yeah so <clears throat> this is how wide it gets um and then it there is different oh i'm trying to get you on the inside i don't know if i can do it um so this is what it looks like on the inside there is a carabiner um in the middle for your keys if you want to hook your keys to it or you know whatever the case may be there is a laptop sleeve which is padded and then there is a um, this sleeve is for tablets so i'm going to show you guys how both of them fit in there so first we have my ipad 
We're gonna go sh shove that in there. Make sure it's all the way to the bottom. And this, so this is how it looks in the backpack. When you first open it, you will be able to see it. And it's all the way. Oh, and there's also these little pockets, but I don't think I'm gonna put them in because they're hella little and they don't really stretch. So I feel like I would lose something in here. So I don't think I'll really have utilize the little the or inside organization without putting a snack inside of it. <laughs> and then this is my laptop. Um, oh, let me show you my small stickers. Um, these are the Lion King um stickers. Um, and these are from Mastermind Connect. I'll put his information on the bottom if you guys want to check him out. Um, and then my laptop goes in there. And my you know, my laptop is a 13 inch MacBook Air, so you can't see my laptop at all. It is completely 100% hidden in there. And then this is the like I think I want to say like the 2018 version of the of the MacBook. I mean, of the Apple, of the iPad. Um, so, I don't know what size this is. I'll, if, I, if I find the details, I'll put it right here for you guys. Um, but, yeah. So, both of those fit in there. Um, I will say with this backpack, you definitely need to pack your backpack first before you put your water bottle inside of it. Um, and I'm saying that from experience. So, I had put my water bottle in first, and then I was trying to pack stuff. And it just doesn't work because the water bottle actually ends up, um, because it is a 40 ounce, it can only stretch this so far. It actually ends up pushing some of the fabric inside the backpack to cause like a, like a little bit of a wall. So I would definitely recommend packing your backpack first. Um, and then I'll show you how much stuff you guys can put in it. Just give me one second. Okay. So this is all the stuff in there. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four notebooks. And I have my laptop and my iPad. And I'm going to throw in this just into the bag. So I'm going to give you guys like an active book that I have with a journal. And then my player hasn't came yet, so I can't. Oh, I have my old one. I have my old Air Conjuring planner. in here and then mind you you do have more pockets you can always put more stuff in there um so and so this is what the backpack looks like now with everything in it i will say this is super heavy though um and i would never pack like this because i don't like heavy things on my back but this is all the stuff i was able to fit into the backpack so it is quite big and i will show you guys what it looks like from the side so you guys can see how bulky it is from the side now this is what i meant when i said to make sure you put your water bottle in after the fact so take your water bottle yeah. okay and then zip it up I, people kept saying that this is not strong, but I'm holding it like this, and I don't see any really strain on this, but I just wouldn't recommend holding a backpack from that anyways, just because I, that's not how I carry my backpack. I always carry them like this. Um, so, I also mean that there's a chest strap, so I will tell you guys this backpack is heavy. We're about to put it on, we're about to put it on, so you guys can see. This backpack is heavy. So you put it like this. So like this, this backpack, oh shoot, hold on, I'm going to put you guys back a little bit further, so you guys can see me, you do not, okay. okay, so, this is what the backpack looks like, on, um, so as you guys can see from right here, um, how it like, how it like is up. On my neck like that i will say like this i don't feel all the weight it doesn't feel heavy but you can strap this chest strap on like so like that and i don't know if the chest strap evens out the weight of the backpack but it does 
And so I still have this part right here and I have this gap right here, but this is what it's looking like for on my back. And then I can always um, like tighten it this way. So it's more flush against my back um, if I wanted to. And then this part does um, tighten for people that have smaller chests. And then it loosens for people like me that have bigger chests, okay? You can work whichever way you want to. It doesn't really matter. Um, and then super easy to release this. Uh, so you just lift them up like that. And it goes like this. And then to tighten it again, you just like that. So yeah, that, oh, and I want you guys how the lunchbox, you can strap it. So you can, so obviously you can't strap it like from here, but if you want to, there is this strap right here. And you just bring it around like this and boom. But I don't know who wants to carry the lunchbox in the front of them. There are these like, um, oh, yeah. there are these straps right here. And you can just let it go, boop, bop, bam. And then it hangs like right here. And you won't have to worry about it. It'll just be there. And then, you know, you don't have to worry about it. So that is all the stuff that I was able to put into the backpack. So you guys can definitely... Um, if you guys are overpackers, you won't have to worry about it. It will be heavy to just pick up. But once it's on your back, the weight does distribute very, very evenly. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys have any questions, that, uh, make sure you put them down in the comment section down below. Especially if I didn't answer any questions that you might have had about the backpack or the lunchbox or the pencil case. Um, and I will try my best, the best of my ability to answer those questions. Um, and yeah. Bye, guys.